All right, so this, uh, this problem reads in an arithmetic sequence where S40 equals 1,900, meaning that the first 40 terms in this sequence, arithmetic sequence, added together adds up to 1,900. And second, the 40th term, so U40, is 106. What they're asking for us to find out here is the value of U1 and the value of D. For this, we're going to use two uh, formulae where we have to basically just plug in what we already have. So we have S40 and we have U40. The first formula is that Sn, in this case n is 40, equals n times U1 plus Un over 2. The second formula we're going to use here is that Un equals U1 plus n minus 1 times d. So for all these, we basically, for this first one, we have every value except u1. Once we figure out u1, we plug it into this other one. We already have un, we have n, and we're just going to solve for d. So for the first one, sn in this case, the value that we have here, so sn is 40, we're going to use 1900. So 1900 equals n, which is 40, times u1, which is what we're looking for, plus un, which n is 40, so u40, we have 106, plus 106 over 2. Here we're going to basically solve for u1. So first we multiply times 2 on both sides to get rid of the 2. This is 3,800 equals 40 times u1 plus 106. And now we divide by 40 on both sides. That gives us 95 equals U1 plus 106. We subtract 106 on both sides of the equation, and that gives us that minus 11 equals U1, or just for proper notation, U1 equals minus 11. Once we have U1, we can plug it into this second equation so that we can solve for D, which is the other thing we're looking for. So now we have UN, which is the value they gave us in the problem, U40 is 106, equals U1, which is now minus 11, we know that, we just calculated it, plus N minus one, but N is 40. So 40 minus one is 39, and this multiplies times D. So now we add plus 11 on both sides, and this gives us 117 equals 39 times D. We divide by 39 on both sides of the equation, and this gives us the D equals 3. And these are the two values we're looking for. And so this is a very simple plug values into the equation and solve for the unknown.